and uh, we're going to now try to derive the product rule. First of all, let's look at the formula. By a strange combination of Leibniz and Newtonian notation, we can say that d by dx of f of x times g of x will equal f prime g plus g prime f. The real question is, how do we really go about proving this from first principles? Now, one of the purposes of the power rule is to um, basically take any situation involving a product of two very different functions and show that when you combine it into a single function, it itself can have a rate of change. Um, this will be uh, most useful in situations where uh, you don't have polynomials, that you might have logarithms or sine and cosine or anything like that. Uh, purposes of derivation, um, well, it basically gives us just that little bit more of experience, a little bit more exposure to uh, deriving our own uh, differentiating formulas. And uh, this one's easy enough to start off. If we just start with d by dx of f of x times g of x, then we can say that while well, taking f of x times g of x as being a a single compound function, then on the numerator of the difference quotient, we have f of x plus h times g of x plus h. Subtract g of x times f of x and divide it all by h, letting the limit of h approach zero. And um, the, the trick here is that there there doesn't appear to be anything you can do with that except well we're going to try to do something a little sneaky and we're going to take away f of x times h times g of x and then we're going to add it back and uh, this will prove useful in the next step uh, and of course what we're doing at the same time is we're keeping everything else the same in the equation Now we're going to factor out f of x plus h because it's common in the first two terms. That leaves inside g of x plus h minus g of x, which is rather convenient because that looks, when we divide that by h, it looks like the familiar uh, rate of change for g prime. Um, in the second set of terms, in the second uh, pair, uh, we can factor out g of x and what's left is f of x plus h minus f of x, once again a candidate for f primed. So it's starting to emerge. Now the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h is just f of x. Since x is a constant with respect to h, we can now take it outside the limit, leaving us with g of x plus h minus g of x all over h, and then we're going to add g of x um, outside the limit, because g of x is a constant, uh, outside the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Now notice that the first difference quotient, g of x plus h minus g of x over h, um, when that limit goes to 0, it's going to be g prime. The other difference quotient, f of x plus h minus f of x over h, uh, it's f prime. So let's just highlight these. Notice g of x and f of x, um, which were taken out of the difference quotient earlier, or taken outside the limit earlier, are untouched. Now, as you can see, we can now summarize the whole thing and just put it all together. Finally, d by dx of f of x times g of x equals fg prime plus gf prime.